Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome back to our Altered Art Spotlight series brought to you in part by Manalink.com and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. If you love amazing artwork, you'll want to go like that Facebook page right now, like this second. I'm standing here waiting for you to go like the page in the description, just I don't know why you haven't yet. Anyways, this episode of Altered Art might be the best we've ever had. Just ever, yeah. Get ready to have your mind completely blown, then put back on your head, then blown again. I know, the hype. We'll begin this ridiculous episode with Nando Alters. Why, hello there, Baroness. For those of you who don't know, this is the Baroness from Cobra and G.I. Joe. Not only is the card choice great in Bloodstained Mire, but I mean that detail. Look at the shine on the suit, the logo behind her and on her chest, the ripples on the clothing. Come on, it's so well done. Even the grooves on the knife handle on her belt. Attention to detail is what makes this altar amazing. Seriously, jawline, the hair, the guns, hold me back. I won't lie, Nando's second piece hurts a little bit, but is so fitting. Kenny is blood gas, makes perfect sense. Dude just keeps dying and coming back over and over again. I like that in very South Park style, Nando decided to put Kenny into the card instead of changing the entire card to accommodate him. That's hilarious. Even the rough writing of his name over the creature type, that's so funny. All of this in addition to the ethereal look of Kenny and the detail on the magic cards themselves makes this a really fun altar, it's unique, I like it a lot. Next up is a returning artist to the show, DC Alters. You better be sitting down for this. Check out these etched champions with aboriginal artwork. I'll give you a moment. I haven't decided if these are the actual best alters we've ever had on the show, but holy crap, they're close. DC hit beyond a home run here. The detail is unreal. The patterns and colors are both flawless. I have no real words for this. Whoever owns these, I am so jealous of your existence. Seriously, it's uh, unreal. In case that wasn't enough for you, DC also altered a taiga to look like Grizzly Hills from World of Warcraft. Yup, my nerd senses are basically going crazy right now. As soon as I saw it, I freaked out. Taiga was a nice choice for the North Run Zone, and the colors match the colors in the game pretty well. I especially like the blues and greens and purples in the night sky. It was a nice touch. Beautiful altar. Our last artist of the day is Ellie Shakarova. She is responsible for one of the most innovative altars we've ever had on the show. Check out this pyroblast beating the crap out of a force of will. It's destroying the card from the inside. Are you kidding me? Tell me this isn't awesome. It's like the card is just melting away, fizzling to nothing. The immersion, so cool, hold me back. I'm a blue player and I want a play set of these. What does that say about my priorities, huh? Whatever, I like pretty things. This is, this is pretty. Ellie's second piece is a Tassiger altar that may look familiar to you. Tassa Purr is the latest super popular creation to come out of Star City Games tournament series. While this isn't her original design, you can't help but find it adorable, right? I mean, it's a cat sitting on a throne with a dog as a fish carrying zombie. I mean, come on, this is pure comedic gold. The card is done really well. I like the dark edges, so it's easier to focus on the cat itself. I like the facial expressions, just superb work, very cool. And that's going to do it for this episode. I did say this was going to be insane, right? I mean, these artists are crazy talented. Let me know which altars were your favorites in the comments. Remember, if you want to throw money at any of these artists, you'll find their info in the description. Please go like their pages and show them some love. They deserve it. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manasaurus. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.